Well, how's it going, everybody? Um, this is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. And so today we are um, going to talk about telewiring because uh, we've got a few different ways to do it. And I get questions all the time about um, how, like, we, they'll see our Esquires, like, in our videos and stuff and be like, what is that switch for? Um, and so what I would encourage you to do is you've probably got your YouTube going there uh, and you have your, uh, there's a live chat box over there on the side. So do me a favor and hit the share button on this live, if you would, and also hit the... Uh, hit the like button and then once you <coughs> excuse me once you find that chat button if you have any questions as we're talking please be part of the conversation I've got my laptop sitting right here uh, and ready so if you have any questions so we're going to talk about wiring um, obviously on Dylan talks tone YouTube channel you know that we talk a lot about uh, the right stuff to use you know um, we have videos on selecting uh, pots and selecting caps and all that sort of stuff um, but Telecaster and Esquire wiring is kind of fun because there's a bunch of little different options. So we're going to talk about a few different options that we have available at DylanTalksTone.com and kind of try to get your, your imagination going with what you can do. Um, a lot of people are really scared of like an Esquire, for, for instance, because it only has one pickup in it. But I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can do it Esquire that's really, really super fun. And we're going to actually do... Uh, a live demo of it. We've got the Kemper over here and I've got it running straight into the stuff so we'll be able to actually play play some stuff and I'll be able to show you <coughs> excuse me show you a few different sounds and possibilities that you can get uh, with just some simple wiring stuff. So I appreciate everybody that's watching. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Let's grab um, first of all let's just keep it super simple and we'll just grab my favorite telly, my favorite purple telly here. Uh, what we're using is the, this is the Dylan telly with um, clues and hardware. It's got a Wilkinson bridge. I've got some custom saddles on there that I've been testing. Uh, this has just a normal three-way setup in it. Uh, when you go to DylanTalksTone.com, you'll be able to hit either three-way or four-way on a Telecaster harness. Um, so this is just gonna give you your normal. Just uh, regular tele, tele wiring. Now something a little unconventional to normal tellies that I did on this guitar, uh, on all my personal guitars I do it, is this is a 250K volume pot, okay? So, okay. Now, uh, the tone knob is a 500. I like that because it allows the guitar to be brighter. And then we put a .047 cap on it and it allows it to get a lot deeper into the tone. Watch. Now, that almost sounds kind of unusable. However, when we go over here to some crazy gain, let's grab some, some gnarlier gain on this. So you see it gives you a really usable tone. I really dig it. Um, if we go back to our clean stuff, and we can roll it up a little bit, it 
it can be super, super mellow. And then obviously you can crank everything wide open. Oh, the switch tip came off. And then when you go back to super gaming stuff. Right? So super cool. It's super versatile. It makes just the normal tele setup really, really versatile. So keep that versatility in mind when we go over to the Esquire. Now, one more thing I want to talk about before we switch uh, the, over to the Esquire, and let's just make sure we don't have any questions yet. Uh, what I want to do before we switch over to the Esquire stuff is let you know that we also uh, we just added this morning a four-way option for this, um, which is a really fun thing where you add a series component and I do not have a guitar here with that in it. Um, maybe I'll switch this guitar over to that. A four-way setup where it's, uh, it would be, let's see, it would be neck, middle, boat in parallel, then both pickups in series. So it gives you like a split apart humbucker kind of sound and then your bridge pickup. So that will give you, um, uh, that will give you a really versatile tone. Um, I, I've done a bunch of custom guitars with it that way, and it's probably one, one, been one of the most popular popular things. You know, we'll probably actually do it in the uh, we'll do it in the Batfish. We'll do it in the Batfish model, uh, which is you know the Les Paul Junior style. I'll do I'll do it in that guitar. We'll put a four way in that, and then we'll show you a demo of that. Um, anyway, it's really, really cool. It works really well. Um, this whole 250 volume pot, 500 tone pot thing is really super fun. And with that 0.047 cap, now a lot of people put a 0.015 cap into a telly. Personally, I like this better because it just gives you more, right? It just gives you more range of motion. The super traditionalist cork sniffery guys aren't going to like it because it's not exactly like it was in 1940, whatever. But I just feel like for the modern guy playing, he's going to want uh, more versatility than that. So let's uh, go ahead and grab another guitar. I'm going to grab a... I got Alexa talking to me over there. Let me... Gr I'm going to grab a three... I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a three-way Esquire. As you may or may not know, this is one of my favorite guitars. And this is gonna give you an idea. Everybody asks us all the time, you only have one pickup. Why is there only, why is there a switch? I'm gonna show you. Let's go all the way over to that gainy side again. That Kemper's funny, like the noise ch floor changes just like a normal amp would and everything. So here we have this crazy. But if we back this off, back the tone off, back the volume off a little bit. Thank you. 
that neck position, uh, the idea here is, is that it's going to give you that fixed Eldred mod. It really works with more gain, in my opinion. If you throw some more gain to it and then turn the volume back on the gain. So here's your, this is like your wide open, okay, this is your wide open telly stuff. This is that Eldred mod where the, with a fixed tone cap, it's supposed to give you the illusion of a neck pickup with all the gain. And if you back the volume off just a little bit with good pickups, this is a flat six pickup in here. It gives you that like humbucker woman tone kind of sound. It's really, really cool. And then the middle is just a normal telly volume and tone. And then the back is uh, just the volume. So that is a normal three-way kind of thing. When you order a three-way Esquire setup from us, that's what you get, okay? Um, let me show you a four-way Esquire. To me, this is the business. If you're going to do a single pickup guitar, here's the fun part. If you have a telly laying around that you're not playing a whole lot, let us know. We'll send you a four-way uh, Esquire kit, and uh, I'll, we can get you know any pick guard you want, too, and then with no pickup in it. Make it into an Esquire and explore some playing. I'm going to tell you, when you go to one pickup, it everybody's like, oh, I need two pickups. You would think so. But then once you start playing with one, it, it like makes you play different. It makes you approach things different. Um, it makes you like you would have thought, oh, wait a minute. If I go over to the super gainy side, but then I back the volume off and then I do this other stuff and I have this whole other tone, like it just it makes you approach it different. It makes you think like it takes a little bit, but it's a super fun thing. Super fun thing. Let me grab this four-way Esquire. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. This is one of our latest builds. This is uh, actually, this is our latest build. Um, Bass Boat Red. This is a reclaimed walnut fretboard, uh, which is so, oh man, it's so good. And then we have a four-way switch here. Okay, now this is a really, really fun guitar. So we have this Eldred mod, which is... That's all on the forward position. Then the next position is normal, volume and tone, okay? Okay, so there's that. The next is only volume. So your tone's not doing anything, okay? And you'll notice it's getting a little noisier because it's more direct. Now the next one is wide open. The, these don't do anything. They don't do nothing. Straight to the jack. What's really interesting about it is this gives you an idea how much difference pots make, just pots, in the circuit. So if we have a 500K pot and a 250K volume, we got fluorescent lights going in here, super noisy. So let's talk about that. So here is your volume. So watch this. I 
don't know how much difference that makes through YouTube. I don't know how much difference you can hear with all the compression of YouTube. But the thing is, is it's uh, super, the clarity gets more and more and more and more. So here's the fun part. So what you can do is you can take, let's take uh, the volume. Take the tone, go like this. So here's what you have. You have four completely different sounds by not moving anything but the switch. So now we have our neck. I did was move the switch back and forth so if you set the volume and the tone a little bit off of all the way up then you get that Eldred mod in the neck then you get a little more because you get some volume control then you get a little more because you get some tone control and then you get nothing and it just goes super wide open it's really really fun super fun guitar <laughs> Really fun guitar. The only downside is, all the way back, this doesn't do anything. You can't shut it off. So, you know, having a tuner or something. Or just put it back the other way and turn the volume down. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you around some of the Esquires and Tele stuff. Now, uh, the four-way Esquire harness, you know, the wiring control plate. The three-way Esquire wiring control plate the four-way Telecaster control plate and the three-way Telecaster control plate are all available on dylantalkstone.com. You can go there and check them out. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know. And if there's anything else you want to know about guitar stuff, our best ideas for our videos come from you. So if you leave it in the comments, you know, I look through all the comments on all of our videos and, um, that's where I get most of what we do. Um, you know, somebody will ask a question. Somebody asked a question last night about tone blocks on, uh, on Stratocasters. So we're going to do some videos on brass versus aluminum and all that kind of stuff and show you some stuff. So um, definitely, uh, if you have any questions or you, you want to know anything about guitar stuff, if I don't know the answer, we're going to get somebody that does. We're going to make sure that we cover that for you. We'll make a video just for you. And I appreciate everybody taking some time out of their Saturday and joining us live. Do me a favor. If you would share this, that would be fantastic. If you're watching it in replay, uh, leave a comment and say hi. I'll come back and see it. I really do appreciate it. And everybody, I hope you have a great weekend.